So I came down to the barn this morning at a really restless night of sleep. It's been a crazy couple of days here on the farm. We had a big blizzard, then we had a calf born in the blizzard, and yesterday it was really cold, like in the teens, and, and right now it's about 12 degrees Fahrenheit. And we had absolutely insane winds last night, and so I just I had stressful sleep worrying about my, my little baby calf. And so I've just come down here to the barn to check on things, and it's looking like things are A-OK. -okay. Actually, my whole herd's sleeping down here in the barn, and if I'm thinking about the little baby calf, I can actually see him in the background there. He's doing good, taking a nap against that rock. Yeah, I need to confide, that, that is a big relief for me. It was a restless night of sleep and I was very, very worried. Now that I'm out here and checking on things, it seems like everything's gonna be just fine. We'll check back in on the cattle later today. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I have another little baby very, very soon. But speaking of little babies, how's my little lady Abington? How's it going, sweetie? You're being so well behaved right now. Come here, Abs, come here, come on, come on. I'm here to pet you. Hey, Toby, come. Abby, come. Good girl. That's the way we behave, yeah. All right, Abby, sit still, sit still. We're getting your harness on. Hey, settle down. Sit, good girl. Hey, Toby, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. <laughs> good, Abby. Abby! <laughs> oh, no. Ugh, Abby, you're at an 11. I need you at a six. I got a special job for you today, Abby. You're gonna help me with camera work, okay? Yeah, I hope that's okay. Okay, and away we go. Oh no. Oh no, I can't be. Oh, that's not good at all. Oh no, 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 no. So you know how I was just saying that there was some crazy winds last night? Well, I shouldn't have been worried about the cattle. There's really no reason to worry about the cattle. They were fine. What I should have been worrying about is the hoop coop. Oh dear. No! No, 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 son of a gun. Crud, crud, crud. This is not good at all. Look at that. Hey, geese. Hey, chickens. Oh, I'm really sorry. Yeah, you can see what happened. I mean, look at the snow drift, right? That wind is coming right down here, and it blew this apart and ripped this apart. Oh, dude, that's not good at all. I'm gonna have to figure something out. We still got a lot of winter left. I can't have this. And yeah, the lining, oh no, it ripped all the way through. This was all one solid piece. Oh no, and Abby, she lost her camera. Abby, 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 don't crush the camera. This is not my morning. Oh. Oh no, and the camera went missing now underneath all this snow. <sighs> all right, we're gonna have to figure out how to fix that today. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's the camera, Abby. At least we found, hey, hey, Abby, drop it. Leave it. Oh boy. I will say that about these cameras. They take a licking, but they keep on ticking, especially a licking from Abby. Oh. Release the Quacken! Come on, Abby, sit. No, you gotta be able to sit in this condition. Good girl, yes. Good girl. Good girl, good girl. All right, we sit when the ducks are trying to come out, okay? That was so good, I'm very proud of you. How's it going, Molly Murder Mittens? How are you, sweetie? Good to see you this morning. Watching the ducks head off to the pool. You're being very good around them. Yeah, they're all crazy and wacky. The ducks are like, we're tired of being used as your training exercise. Toby, come. Abby, come. See, yes. Yeah, you gotta follow Toby's lead. Yeah. Good morning, weird chickens. And Bard Rock, who thinks she's a weird chicken? You just completely adopted this flock, haven't you, girl? She's like a Bard Rock hybrid. I actually wouldn't even be surprised if she's like a Bard Rock silky hybrid, even though she doesn't really have any of the genetic characteristics of a non Bard Rock chicken. But she's tinier than the rest of the chickens, and so she like decided to demote herself to the minor leagues, and it was probably a good decision for her. Here comes the ducks hanging out at the pools. All right, let's go check out the situation in the hoop coop. Rise and grind, everybody. Uh, this is not good at all. Well, you guys like living outdoors, so you got this going for you. Here's more of the clamps that I used to keep all this steady. It was just basically one big piece wrapped around this bar. I always thought snow load 
was gonna be the thing I had to worry about. But that wasn't the case here. There was barely any snow on it last night as I locked everybody up. And this whole piece just sort of ripped down the middle. This is not what I wanted at all. Not what I want. This is not what I planned. Let's see if we at least got some goose eggs this morning. I cleared out two last night before I locked everybody up. A couple more here. One, two. Yeah, I'm getting about five or six eggs a day now, so uh, laying is in full swing. Hatching will start pretty soon, but as you can see here, we are in extreme winter wonderland and still will be for the next month or two. And I don't like to put my birds outside if I'm still getting snow. So you're gonna see me do my hatching a lot later than like folks you'll see in like warmer climates, that's for sure. I gotta watch out for you this hatching season, Ginny. Now you weren't around hatching season last year, but I could easily see her decimating some baby birds this year if I don't keep them away from her until they get large enough so that they're safe. You're gonna like hatching season too, Abby. You've never seen that. Yeah, it's definitely the time of year where baby life is all around us. I just wish I didn't have this casualty today. You know, Abby, farm life is never easy. Keep that in mind. Look at this dog, she's being so well behaved. And look at this Toby, he is the best. What I'm gonna try to do is reattach the plastic to the remainder of the hoop coop structure. That's the thing, I'm gonna move my nesting boxes for the chickens out of the way because that's just gonna turn into a mess. I should probably do that right now. Hopefully this doesn't screw up the laying pattern of the chickens. They've been doing so well lately with laying in their nesting boxes. This could be a setback. Hey chickens, I got some scraps for you. Oh, Abby, you want some scraps too? Okay. All right, that's enough scraps for Abby. Out you go, you vultures. Oh man, the snow's really starting to come down again. We should only get an inch or two, but still it's gonna be a problem with that. Come on, Abby. Hmm? You know what time it is, right? She's become hip to the fact that she gets put into daycare and I don't think she likes it anymore. So she's starting to throw little puppy temper tantrums when it comes time for me to lock her up in the morning when I can't be here in the barnyard supervising her. Oh, you know this is the danger zone. You don't want to be anywhere this close, huh? These are such smart dogs and they're so independent that when they know what's going on and don't want to do something, they will just dig their heels in and like, that's that. So I'm gonna have to encourage her to come in here. Come on, sweetie. Yeah, there's food right in here. Come on. I know, I know. You're like, what do I look stupid? You got that, good girl. Good Abby. See, the worst thing I wanna do is make it a tug of war and make it be like me versus her. What I wanna do is encourage her to wanna be here and make this like her choice. From what I'm told, having a Maremma is kinda like having a toddler. The barn cats like to test Abby's limits too. <laughs> They're still all kind of figuring each other out. All right, Abby, you keep doing what you're doing. No need for separation anxiety or stressing out. Being out here alone is a part of the job description, sweetie. This is hard to do holding goose eggs. But I don't want to put them down and have them get too cold. There we go. Okay, Abby, you sit tight. I'll be back in a little bit. I'm gonna have to run to town and go to the hardware store today because I don't have everything I need to fix the hoop coop. Before I go, let's go check on our cattle. Watch over things for me, Toby Dog. I'll be back in about an hour or two. Huh, it's looking like Ariel might be about ready to give birth soon. She doesn't look quite bagged up yet. Her udders don't look as full as they were on Anne of Green Gables, so I don't think she's quite ready yet, but not too long. I think Annabelle is also looking pretty darn ready to go. Luckily, it's gonna be warmer over the next few days, so it's cold today, but then I think it's gonna warm up overnight, and like this time tomorrow, it's gonna to be like 32, and it should even be peaking in the 50s by, uh, I don't know, about a week from today. And yeah, we should be warming up. All the snow will melt. It'll be better conditions for a baby calf to be born. I still can't believe our one little miracle fella and how well he did despite the conditions he was born in and just how well the mom did in terms of how stealthy she was. Like barely even noticed the operation. It took me a while to even find the placenta. I didn't even notice the placenta until after I noticed that Ginny Barncat was picking at it. <laughs> 
If you look closely, you can see our little guy getting some breakfast this morning from mom. This is good. He's he's he was very tentative at first when he was drinking. Now he's like aggressive with her. How are you doing there, Ariel? Oof, dropping more bombs. I gotta come back out here and clean again. I just cleaned up yesterday. <laughs> Put some more straw down too. Such a good mom, Anne of Green Gables. I should say Anne of Avonlea at this point. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty sure three of the four ladies that we have here on the farm are gonna give birth very soon. So I'm not sure about Audrey. She might still be pregnant. She looks kind of pregnant, just not nearly as developed as the other three gals. So my theory is she might just be on a little bit later of a schedule than the other three gals, like the other three gals. I think they're all pregnant by the same bull. Actually, the bull that got them pregnant is a black bull. You can see a picture of him right here. Big, healthy guy. According to my friend Tom, who sold his bull to the farmer I bought my cattle from, the bulls swapped over for anything born after May 1st. You know, for the baby that was born the other day, he is definitely um, the son of this black bull. For the babies that come off of Annabelle and uh, Ariel, I would expect that it's also the father of, of those calves as well. You know, Scottish Highland cattle, they can come in all sorts of different colors. They can come in sort of like the dun color, like a little bit more of a reddish color. They can come in black like Audrey or that bull. They can even come in white. You gotta really think about the genetics in terms of sort of the passing of dominant and recessive genes and what that could mean in terms of probabilities for what color your calf is gonna be. So we'll be wondering as we see each calf be born, you know, what color is it gonna be? What's it gonna look like? As you can see with Anne of Green Gables' little guy, that one is, is definitely sort of more of a dun color. Kinda like his mom. I might go in there later today and try to touch him and spend more time with him. I've been trying to get him more used to people. Folks have asked if I'm gonna milk the mom and unfortunately she's just too wild for me to be able to milk. And so because of that, she's just gonna be feeding that little one. Um, I won't try to actually milk her. If I have a calf born over the course of this spring and summer, I will actually try to handle that one significantly and even halter train it. So that way I could potentially one day milk that cow when she gives birth. Well, I gotta go run to town now and get the supplies I need to try to fix the hoop house and salvage that disaster. But I will check back in with you guys very soon to let you know what's happening with the farm, both with the calves, with the hatching, with Abby, and now this hoop house disaster. Thanks for watching everybody.